When I was in radio, that's when I recognized message was more important than the delivery vehicle. So we were told to sell radio. That was our job. But I didn't think radio was the answer. I thought the message was the answer. So I recognized that before I started Shelf the Sidewalk, that it's not where you say what you're going to say, it's what you say and how you say it. That's how you're going to connect with other people. We can use the vehicle, like for example radio, to connect with people. But if you have a bad message, it doesn't matter. So it's not the radio stations that we were representing that were the answers for these businesses. It was the message that we were going to create for them. Yet in the big corporate world of radio, the focus was on selling them your radio stations. And I didn't believe in that. I believed in selling them a message that would help grow their business and using the radio stations to do that. If I was going to fail, I wanted to fail on my terms or succeed on my terms. And if I was going to train and educate people, I wanted to train them the way I wanted to train them. I didn't want to be told how to do that. It does take courage to just drop everything and, and then start your own business. But if you have confidence that if it doesn't work out, that you could do something else, then really is that courage? It's really, it's not courage, it's, it's confidence. And where I believe I got the confidence to do stuff like that would be starting with my parents. Um, they were not entrepreneurs, but they worked hard. Uh, my mom and dad both worked hard. There were six kids. Um, and they never told me that I had to work hard. I watched them work hard. My mom became my role model. Um, she became my idol. Uh, you know, a lady that was, she had a lot of physical illnesses and she was an amazing watercolor artist that didn't start painting until she was in her 40s because of the six kids, she had to raise the kids and then she finally had the ability to start painting. But she also, at that time, she delivered newspapers. Uh, she worked as a waitress in a restaurant. Um, this is to earn extra money for the kids. It is really gratifying when, when you go to the place that you're working with and, and everybody in there knows the slogan. They've all bought in and they're all living it, breathing it, feeling it, smelling it, eating it. That is really gratifying. That means we were able to help them because we don't have the answers. Our clients have the answers. We just help them find them. The fact that we help them find that and, uh, and it's working, and it's helping them connect with their customers, their patients, whatever, their, their employee candidates, if it's an employer brand, there's nothing like that in business. There's nothing like it, it's, it's a great feeling. I think it's better for our clients that we stay nimble, and if there's something we can't do, then we just bring somebody on board from from the outside to be part of the team for that particular project. It works for us. I think it works for our clients, and uh, it it it's a, just a it's a better culture. Uh, it's just more enjoyable, and this is this is sort of what I envisioned from the beginning. I never wanted us to be big. I didn't. I never wanted us to go after awards and. I just want us to do our job and take care of small businesses and take care of our families. My goal in life has nothing to do with business. My goal in life is to be, I don't know, the father of the year 50 years in a row. Because uh, I got another 50 maybe, right? So yeah, that's my goal. That, that's, that's everything I, that's my passion. Um, are my kids. I want to be the father of the year and the husband of the year every year until I die. That's what, that's what I want. My favorite food is chicken burgers. I like to have them on the grill, corn on the cob, and watermelon. That's my favorite meal and I like to have that with my family, with my girls, and with my wife. I enjoy teaching and coaching our clients. 
I enjoy teaching and coaching our team. I like to learn from our team. It's not just about me teaching everything. I want to learn things. And that's part of why I bring some people onto this team because I believe they can also teach me. I love kids, I love coaching, I love the game. I played the game of baseball uh, through college and I think my give back uh, is back giving back to kids. Right now it's through softball, um, but there's multiple ways to give back to kids. I think someday I'll be some kind of teacher's aide and, uh, and help kids. That's what I like to do.